my wife here has obviously uh, been uh, fooling around in my absence here, fond of the dried fish and, and old bones. This was an old friend of ours who passed on some time ago, and uh, she kept his leg as a memorial. She's always fond of his leg, as I remember. And this, I... I hope this isn't... I'm not... Well, I'll ask her. <laughs> well, I think I'll move this. We're going to have a grand time this evening. Ooh, ah. Spider there, big fella. Look at that, look at that. Grand old boy. Look, look. Oh, dear. <laughs> I love them. I love all little creatures. Especially the ones that wiggle and sneak their way across the world surface here. I'm going to open up the old girl here. We're going to have a grand time tonight. We're going to show an old film. And, uh, of course... Yes, my dear, I'm getting to you, my dear. Got a present for you, something, a nice new one. And, uh, we're going to show you how to grow hair like a werewolf and uh, show you how to make the antidote in case the hair gets out of hand, you know. Here, there we are. Ah, ah my dear. Jesus, what is that, my dear? What, what, what have you, what have you got, got here? Look at that. That was a that was a healthy Purdue chicken or some chicken years ago. She sucked that one dry, you see. Nothing left of that, my dear. Must be hungry, hey? We're gonna have a grand evening here. We're gonna have a steak and spider soup. You've got the spiders, and I've got a brand new steak. I brought it from out of town just for you, my dear. <laughs> she loves this most of everything. Uh, she'd rather have this than the film, the films, you know. Really. She's fond of steaks and uh, and commercials. We've got them both for you tonight. Here you go, my dear. Oh, oh, hold still. Don't move around so. Here we go. <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. Well, I think it's time we get down to business here. The film this evening is called... Uh... Forget. This really doesn't matter. The dogs are barking. That's a good sign. <laughs> tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean, along whose shores native villages have existed for thousands of years, but where the white man is a newcomer. For all its beauty, little is known about the land near the water's edge, and less is known about what lies beneath the water's surface. The natives tell strange stories about this sea, stories which to this day have not been disproved. The above water portions of this motion picture were photographed along this coast. The underwater sequences were actually filmed off its shores at the bottom of the ocean. You like it? Si. Sí. My father, he wasn't at this so too. Really? What kind of work does he do now? He don't do nothing. He is dead. Oh, I'm sorry. How can you capture the sweep of the sea with a paint and a brush? I do not blame you. The sea, it makes much unhappiness. It took my father. Was he drowned? No, the thing in there, that got him. This thing? What was it? A big devil. You mean some kind of a sea monster? Much worse. You must have let your imagination run away with you. I speak only the truth. And the cove is a terrible thing. It got my father. He is no longer here. I'm sorry about your father, but we've got to be realistic. I've been swimming in that cove every day of my vacation, and I've yet to see anything any larger than a lobster. You have your belief. I have mine.
Incidentally, this is my uh, operating glove. It comes in very handy to have an extra. This little thumb here comes in handy, and I can just, uh, you know, help pick things up. It's not terribly sanitary, but it does the job, you know. <laughs> you want to do your ear while you're making gestures, you can do that. And of course, if you want to just go to your neighbor like that, you can go that way. So that's uh, neither here nor there, but I thought I'd mention that. Uh, I didn't want to frighten you any of What I'm going to do here now is, uh, I've got to work on the amoeba here and squeeze some of it out. Uh, now, wait a minute here. This thing keeps popping up. Get out of the way there. And we'll, uh, well, we'll just get to work on it, that's all. There's no point in fooling around here. Those of you who have never seen an amoeba before, you youngsters, I, I feel sorry for you. You should have been taught all about this in, in high school. You should know about this stuff. Uh, high school's where they should teach this stuff. Probably grammar school wouldn't be a bad idea, to tell the truth. This uh, amoeba here, uh, I have to hypnotize it uh, because even though it's insensitive to pain, it makes everyone feel better if they know it's asleep when I opened it up, you know. <laughs> so we just stroke it a bit here, get it soothed down, you know. This is the same technique they use when they're trying to get you to quit smoking, you know. So don't smoke anymore, don't smoke anymore. Then. Like that, that. See there? See now, it, it won't, it won't. Oh dear. I got amoeba all over me here. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, head for the laundromat on the way home tonight, that's what I'll do. Wait a minute here, I can't even open my tools here. What is this one? Found it tools. There we are. Now we go. I'm not inept, I'm just out of practice, that's all. Now we'll just tear it open here, you see, I get a good grip here. Wait a minute. You can do this right, we'll do it right. All you medical students there used to send me dead cat cadavers. I hope you're watching tonight because... <laughs> all, all right, all right, all right. I think that's the wife doing that. I don't... Yes. <laughs> this thing is totally uh, insensitive here to pain. Now, you see, it's coming out now. Now, what I'll do, of course, is to... Uh, hmm. I'll just get to squeeze a little bit of this out here. And then uh, we'll catch that and we'll make the great Lucaroo highball. Lukaruk Highball is a very famous down in the uh, New Orleans area, down in the swamps, you know, with all the Cajuns live, where this uh, tonight's film is. is uh, oh, spilling on the floor. I gotta watch that. <laughs> Might right, leak, leak right through the, the old concrete, you know. <laughs> well, 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 wait. My dear, it's very exhausting being a medical man, and I, I can't rush into these things. Just a minute here. I want to see if, see if this is. Uh, looks all right. Well, uh, it's not as good as... That's another reason it's good to have an extra thumb. Oh! <coughs> Makes the heart beat faster. <laughs> I hope I don't grow any hair here. I didn't really swallow any. If you swallow too much of that, you'll get hairy in a minute. All right, my dear, just, just a moment here. Like I say, it's very exhausting, and, and while you... Uh, while you picker, people are watching this high-paced flick here, I'm going to make up a little time here with the old lady, if you don't mind. Move, move over, my dear. I'm, I'm going to come in there. Yes, all right, here, just hold my hand. Whoa, now, wait, 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 wait. Kind of painting for a living, Julie? No, I'm a merchandise illustrator. 
Oh, uh, that's where you paint... Uh, Washing machines, vacuum cleaners, pots and pans. That takes talent. Marine biologist? Mm-hmm. I'm on the staff at Stanford. I was assigned along with Dr. Baldwin to do some research down here along the coast. Nice work if you can get it. Did you know that over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water? Well, the Pacific alone here has an area of over 73 million square miles. The Atlantic... <laughs> I'm sorry, there I go, making noises like a biologist again. It's all right. I've enjoyed hearing you talk. Uh, how would you like to go out and see our boat? You could meet Dr. Baldwin and see the kind of work we do. No, I... I... Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Do you think both of us could fit into that... Um... What do you call that thing, anyway? Well, that's my submarine. Come on, I'll show it to you. All right. Where's the engine? No engine. I furnish the power. It'll do anything an airplane can do. Will it fly? Underwater. How about it? You ready? Well, what do I do? Well, you can help me get into the water. You hang on. I'll stay on the surface. He's a 
the bottom. Fire. In the car. <laughs> Has, uh, has asked me to uh, do one of my world famous lip, lip syncs. It's a lip sync here, and of course I'm a past master at lip syncing. Blood and uh, cool we're going to. Red than the, north, sir. the blood stains the boat, but it's easy to float, cause blood is much thicker than water. There was bat wing confetti and the veins of a mummy named Betty. I first frowned upon it, but with ketchup on it, it tasted very much like spaghetti. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. That was a portion of the great old song, Dinner with Drac, and I dedicate that to all the uh, early uh, bandstand, Dick Clock. Dick Clock, you think he's not getting old? He's an old man. It's not him, you see. It's an old man, and he has a little stuffed dummy that does all his TV work. At any rate, all those great, uh, those great rock and roll uh, dancers on the uh, Dick Clark show in, the, in those days helped make that song famous, and I, I appreciate all they did for me. Well, well, it's back to the film here, and uh, as I say, I've forgotten what's going on so far, but if you're just tuning in, you won't miss what you already missed, believe me. <laughs> He must be down there. Search the cove thoroughly, not a sign. Where'd he go? How'd he get out of suit? No opening. Except this. No man gets through that. Then what happened to him? Something bothering you, Julie. You can tell me. I'm worried about what happened in the cove this afternoon. Well, I don't blame you. It was pretty tragic. But abalone divers have drowned before. Not like this, Steve. There wasn't the slightest trace of Sanchez. What could have happened to him? I don't know. This morning, I was talking to one of the little Mexican boys. And he told me that his father had been taken by some strange thing down in that same cove. Don't think a sea serpent got him, do you? No. But... Steve, these stories about some kind of a devil in the cove. I've talked to some of the other people here. They believe it. You know, there might just be something to it. Well, even if there is, Julie, I don't think it's your problem. Somebody's got to do something about it. Julie, I don't want you taking any chances. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. You know, I've grown very fond of you in the short time we've known each other. I like you too, Steve. But I like this little town, too. I just couldn't sit by and watch these people terrorized by... whatever it is. I still don't see why you have to stick your pretty little chin out. That's one of the reasons the world's in such a mess, Steve. Everybody's afraid to start something. Well, I'm not. No, I'm 
don't believe you are. Promise me one thing. Help if you can, but don't take any needless chances. The ocean can be dangerous, Julie. Very dangerous. All right. Shall we go? All right. building up to anything. You can't kid me, young lady. Does it uh, possibly concern more uh, sea monsters? I was thinking about it. Surely you've been reading too many science fiction things lately. Take me out to the cold, will you? I can't. Today I'm overhauling my sub. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want to wait that long. You didn't mention overhauling your sub before. Well, I didn't want to bore you. How far are you on it? Well, uh, not too far. Have you actually started working on it yet? In a figurative sense, yes. In a literal sense, you mean you haven't begun yet, is that it? Well, <laughs> no. Come on, Superman. Into your sub. Now you just follow me down below while I scout the place. Happy monstering. You do think there's something down there? Frankly, yes. I think you're liable to run into a good-sized shark. We have them around here, you know. Steve, you're just trying to scare me so I won't go down there, but it's not going to work. I'm sure of that. Seriously, Julie, we do have a man-eater that wanders in here every now and then. Now, if you meet one, here's what you do. Okay, what do I do if I meet a shark? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Whatever you do, don't head for the surface. You'll snap off your legs like ripe bananas. The safest procedure would be just to stay still. The shark will size you up for a minute, then move on to greener fields. And whatever you do, don't scratch yourself. They can smell blood a mile away. Aye, aye, Captain. Now follow me down below. Making that noise just to wake you up as you sit there in your lazy boy lounge there, whatever you're relaxing on. I mean, really, this is not the most exciting film that ever came down the old pike, eh? <laughs> Well, 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 my wife is after me to come, uh, play. I'll be with her there, my dear. I've got some, uh, this is, this is, this right here, you see, is uh, mummy dust. Good old-fashioned mummy dust, hard to find, but uh, I have a, a private source. And we have here what I, uh, what I've been, uh, very deep there, you see now, that, that thumb comes in very handy there, too, you see. I get a real grip on it there. This, I've been assured, is very old water, probably from the Schoolkill River. <laughs> and we'll just pour some of that in here. And then we'll, uh, there we go. Oh, yes, this is, oh, better get some of that on the old uh, Mieber there. Mieber's like fizzy stuff there, we huh? All right, my dear, my dear. Wait a minute, open up the old lid here. This is a dreadful way I live, you know, in the box here with the old lady. And uh, here, here, my dear, a little bit, little bit for you, all right? Oop, open wide. Oh, open your mouth. Ready? She likes it from the great height. <laughs> here we go, my dear. You've seen enough, you've seen enough. Go amuse yourselves with something else, go.
Relax, Julie. An octopus is the biggest coward in the sea. I don't care. Get me out of here. You're the one who wanted to go monster hunting. Uh, how big was this octopus, anyway? Uh-huh, that's more like it. It scared me half to death. I thought it was a monster. Here we go again. You certainly are stubborn. Don't you believe in anything? Not in witch hunts. Come on, what do you say we go back and slip into a nice dry martini, huh? Joe, I'd like to talk to you about what happened yesterday. I've heard that there's some kind of devil down in the cove. Do you know anything about it? There is some truth. Do you know what, whatever it is, looks like? I do not know. But whatever it is, it is not like anything we have ever seen. When did the first stories about this thing start? I remember. My sister, she was married that summer. What year? 1946. Summer, 1946. Soon after the end of the war. Joe, do you know anything else about this? I want every fact I can uncover. I know nothing more. Pablo, he has lived here all his life. Perhaps he can help. The cause is his home. Wait, don't see him. It's a gift. for a long time, haven't you? See, si, see. Si. There are many stories about your cold. They say that a devil lives here. These days, one believes many things. I'm just trying to help. Please believe me. You do, don't you? Well, of course, Senorita. The ocean. She holds many forms of life. There are many strange stories. Some, there is reason. With my own eyes, I have seen a shark. Well over 60 feet. Uh, the scientificos say that uh, no shark was more than 40 feet, so they say, and so it is to be, but uh, nature, senorita. Nature in her way does many strange things. Sometimes she knows not when to start, and sometimes she does not know when to stop. Then you think there is a chance of what I'm speaking. Have you ever seen anything strange down in the coast? Two, three times. I see something. Once I see tracks. Not from turtle, not from seal, but made from some strange, shapeless thing that come from water of coal, but from the sand. How large was it? Oh, more bigger than wagon, more bigger than house. Do you have any idea what could have left a train like that? Have you ever seen anything else? Yeah. One night. One night in the surf where it is deep, I see something. At first, I think it, it's shipped with lantern. And I see it is nothing like that. Nothing like... Oh, Madre de Dios. Nothing like anything I ever see. The lantern was on all. Red eye. Only one eye. 
Only one. It burned and stared at me. Then it, it slowly went, went down into the sea again. Could you make out the shape? A dog like a pescador who has lived in the sea too long, eh? No, Pablo. I believe you saw what you said. One more question. What kind of a night was it? Ah! La Luna! She was up! It was a full moon! Ah, si, senorita. It is wasted on me. My Gofredo, he's gone. Gofredo? For 12 years we have been together. Now he is no longer with me. Do you have any idea where he could have gone? No, senorita. One night he was here. Next morning, no sign. Has he ever done this before? No, senorita. Perhaps you better report it. I did. They said they would see. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Maybe yes, maybe no. Why should anyone get excited over Gofredo? He's nothing but an old dog. A dog? I thought that he was your... Never mind. <laughs> Every time she sees commercials, she wants to race down to the all-night place and buy all that stuff, you know. <laughs> She's a rabid consumer, but I don't let her out of the place, really. I've got uh, some more of the uh, mummy dust here, fortunately, and I'm going to put a little on here to get this stuff excited, and then we'll, uh, we'll just squeeze a little more here. This is not an easy thing to do here. Roll up my arms here, my, my sleeves in the old-fashioned way, and, and uh, put a little uh, septic uh, rag around here. And then we'll uh, lift it up and we'll just get it into the old... There, there. Oh, it's... Oh, boy, it's really coming out now. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's coming out everywhere. Oh, well, I think the best thing we better do here is... It's getting late. I better... You better go back to the film here, I think. I love my work, by the way, and I always sing when I work. dum dee dum 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 dee dum dum dee dum 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 dee dum <laughs> Look at that moon. Full and rounder than any moon has a right to be. The moon is full. Granted, but why the big reaction? Hey, what is this? Pablo told me that the thing in the cold comes out on moonlight night. Julie, if a man has enough tequila, he's liable to see a lot of things. I believe it. Okay. Uh, tell me, what exactly did this uh, thing look like? Pablo said that he couldn't make out the shape of it, but that it was a huge mass with a red eye that glowed bright red. <laughs> Brother. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Listen, Pablo isn't the only one who's seen the monster. I talked to Joe, too, and he told me some things. Joe? You know, the man whose partner disappeared from his diving suit. Joe told me that the stories about this thing all began back in the summer of 1946. Why do you suppose there were no reports about this thing until 1946? What could have happened then to start the story? 1946? Well, the, uh, the bikini underwater experiments were set off then. Maybe that started something. Maybe it did, stay. Listen, the radiations of that bomb could have reached this far. They could have caused something in that cold to grow into a monster. Julie, look. You're a lovely girl, but lovely girls just don't run around worrying about non-existent sea monsters. Promise me you'll get off this thing once and for all. I'm going to prove to you that I'm right. Steve! Steve, good news! Oh, it's Dr. Baldwin. 
just received this wire from the university, confirming our funds for the experiment. Good. Now we can move on down the coast. I'm very glad for you. Oh, it'll just be a few weeks, Julie, and we'll be back. How soon are you leaving? First thing in the morning. We've got a lot of things to do tonight. Steve, I, I guess you better go help Dr. Baldwin with the packing. Look, come back to the hotel with us. No, I'd just be in the way. I think I'll stay here for a little while. Well, all right. We'll be getting our mail at La Paz. You write to me there. If anything important turns up, I'll write to you, Steve. You write to me if only to tell me what you've had for breakfast. We'll be looking forward to seeing you again, Julie. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Doctor. See you later, Steve. Goodbye, Julie. Goodbye, Steve. You've only known me a few hours. is a burp, you know, you have to, uh... <laughs> oh, my word, look at there. My dear, apparently it worked. Uh, I was a little too strong. I, I have not felt any extra hair, but my dear wife here is right, right out of her mouth. <laughs> she hasn't affected her speech any at all. <laughs> yeah, uh, let, here, man, let, 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 let go, let go, my dear. Let go. You're not going to believe you're not going to believe this. This is, liquor. This is from a from her mouth, her esophagus, I might say. Look, look at this. That's what she's grown, and on top of what she already had. Because I've, I've told you many times, I met her in the jungle, and uh, if it hadn't been such a dark night, I wouldn't have ended up with such a hairy woman. <laughs> she, uh, she leans a little bit toward the gorilla side, but I, we've had some happy times together. And it's nice to be back here after 25 years, and... Uh, Makes me feel young again. <laughs> but watch out if you're in the jungle looking for a wife. Make sure you do it in the daylight. Well, now, Mommy, just to calm down, my dear. If you're going to cause an uproar here, somebody in the neighborhood's going to call the cops. You know that as well as I do. Is she not? Uh, except for 
everybody drink. Sabi, I, I do not understand you. Ah, uh, you're not a good deceiver. You know what I think. Superstition. Was it superstition that took Sanja? I don't know. Evil gods have plagued our people before. Only in one way can they be appeased. The fairest must be sacrificed to the thing. Fairest? That would be... The young Americana who faints in the cold. Oh, such things cannot be. Uh, Someone must make certain she fulfills her destiny. I, I... You, you, you have the blood of your people in your veins. You will do it. No, I... I cannot do such a thing. No one believes in sacrifices anymore. The new generation, the people in cities, they do not believe. But you and I... We have the belief of our fathers. Our fathers are long dead. True. Who is your god? Quetzalcoatl or the new one? But the Padre, he says... You shows... shall do as I say. What is one life when it will save many? It is simple. A shock was seen in the cove early today. Tomorrow, the girl shall be taken to the cove. And the shark will do the rest. And you will carry out my command. holiday, of course, in Transylvania. I found something grand here, left over from the old days. As some of you may remember, and others of you have never seen such a machine as this. This is a genuine, oh, whoops, genuine old machine here. I'll make a little, make a little stronger, my dear. You're going to love this, my dear. This is the electricity, you know. No, 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 not me, real electricity. <laughs> yes, 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 I know, I know. Uh, well, oh, uh, 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 there we are. Grand machine here. We'll set this thing up here. Uh, big holiday in Transylvania, of course. We have sm head smashing contests and, uh, and, and and picnics in the cemetery. All those good things go on. And uh, I want you people to take heart. This film will end. I mean, we, 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 we may lose a few of the audience to the cemetery or something, but the film will end eventually. Uh, so just heart and uh, take heart there. Uh, I, uh, my wife must have drank about a quart of that juice that I, I made there. And uh, she's grown so much hair there that I think we can restuff our mattress. That's a plus. <laughs> For, um, a pretty senorita. Si. She lives in San Vicente. I have meeting with her for supper. Oh. Something is wrong? I was going to ask you to row me out to the coast. Oh, manana, perhaps, but not today. Besides, you think it wise after your meeting with the shark? I'm not afraid. Hey. Why you not take my boat? She little and you're all good as me. Permit me, I put your things in the boat. Or would you please look at my back door to see if it is locked?
Grazie signorina. Grazie. machine, of course, the one that brought Frankenstein to life, and I have mine here, and then and, uh, we'll do a little music here, a little musical number. Chairs were arranged for the sitting zoo, perches set up for those who flew. Parents with heels had tanks assigned, and baskets were used for the formless kind. And the good time was had by all. Yes, the good time was had by all. <laughs> One minor thing happened to spoil the fun. The menu hostess, thoughtless one, instead of rolls, served a hot cross bun. Well, the vampires arose and walked out as one. And you couldn't blame them at all. Not really. You couldn't. <laughs> They've been warned rather firm not to bring the monster they built this term. But of course he was there, brimming with life. It's a shame he ran off with the principal's wife. But a good time was had by all. Yes, a good time was had by all. I right, wonder the lunch didn't turn out worse. The geography which, sure enough, cast a curse. It began when the sophomores, playful bunch, poured geritol into the vampire punch. And it turned into quite a ball. It turned into quite a ball. First, the freshman captured the fiend who taught math and threw him into an acid bath. He had tougher stuff than they thought he had. He just swam around till the acid turned bad. And it didn't face him at all. No, it didn't face him at all. Then the board of regents crawled from their tanks and picked a fight with the reptile ranks. Carnivorous couples did nasty things and ate off half of the faculty wings. And that started the free for all. Yes, that started the free for all. Soon <laughs> found it was soon from the library tombs clear to the vampire study room. Well, 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 well. Fantastic there, fantastic. That's what it looks like, of course, in Transylvania when we have our great uh, uh, holidays and, of course, when we have our... Uh, uh, Pants made PTA. We do all this. Here's another. Here's a grand one here. Grand one. Well, when survivors took hands, if they still had one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to take them all down to the uh, Little Monster Hospital, I think. They're all probably in deep shock right now, as I hope you all are too. I love playing with toys, don't you? <laughs>
Tommy, get the sub in the water. Well, I'm glad that's over. The film, of course, is what I'm referring to. I mean, that film, we, we recommend that as uh, one of the worst of the year, in the year that it was made, and uh, nothing has topped that since, actually. It won the award, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Kept you up late, eh? Well, well, I'm sorry. Yes, my dear, I'm, uh, I'm coming home. She likes me to refer to it as coming home. Uh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm coming right in here, my dear. Give me, give me a chance to... There we go. Uh, uh, 
great seeing you all again and, and, and meeting all you young folk out there. Who, oh, some of you might have even been the... Uh, uh, when your parents were watching the movie, might have... Well, don't look into that. Well, oh, yes, my dear. <laughs> she wants me to read the old poem. I've got the old poem here. And uh, we'll say farewell to you as I read. This is, after all, uh, the week before Halloween, and uh, uh, who knows? This was written by uh, Miss uh, Anne Roland Embirds up there in the rock store somewhere, I recall. Hope she's still around here. Through the nauseous night I'll soar. I'll wade through pools of rancid gore. I'll slide through clumps where maggots squirm. I'll skin die where piranhas churn. <laughs> I'll tread the reeking, oozing swamp. Through corpse-filled quicksand beds I'll stump. Through vampires' nests I'll win my way. Where werewolves dwell, I'll spend a day. I'll lift your coffin lid, my dear. My nose will tell me you're still here. I'll realize my lifelong dream to wish you happy Halloween. <laughs> well, good night, whatever you are. Oops. Now, my let go, my dear. Let go. Good, good, good night, whatever you are. Oh. Oh.